friends, greetings and welcome again to this Prophetic Insights. And before we get into the crux of the matter, we want to remind you of some coming upcoming events. Now, where are we going to be, Hillary, this coming Sabbath, June 1st? We will be in Knoxville, Tennessee. And yes, we are inviting everyone out who is in the vicinity. And even if you're not, if you're able to come, you're welcome as well. Lunch will be served. Details are all online regarding the venue, the times. We have a day packed uh, of, of spiritual blessings for you all. And that's going to be on our website at prophesyagain.org org prophesy again dot org as well as on our facebook page okay that's this coming sabbath june 1st what about next weekend friday and sabbath june 7th and june 8th where are we going to be hillary well the team will be in atlanta that week weekend so please mark your calendars if you're in the area we want to see you we want to meet you or reunite with you please come out and friends again Bring out your friends, bring out your family members. It's time for aggressive evangelism. Now, someone one, once asked, Pastor, are these only going to be Sabbath meetings, Friday meetings in the upcoming, in the near future? The answer is no. We're planning for extended, longer meetings. However, for these uh, upcoming weekends, this is what we can address and what we can do at this time now many many even ask what can one meeting do what can one encounter do at these meetings the great question is since it's not us but christ who is going to be working in these meetings on people's hearts what can christ do for one individual in one encounter just go to the scriptures what happened to the woman at the well the woman of samaria was she converted absolutely one encounter with christ and she drew a whole city amen and what about even simon of cyrene yes he was and converted. many others all throughout scripture one encounter and they were all converted praise the lord so please friends invite your friends invite your co-workers invite your classmates invite your neighbors invite your family members it's time for aggressive evangelism and the work for this time is where it's in the cities in the cities and the bible tells us in luke 19 that when christ saw the city it says he beheld the city and he wept he had great concerns for the people in these cities and the cities are becoming more wicked. Sins are more prevalent and rife in these wicked cities. Let's come to Atlanta where we will be June 7th, June 8th, next weekend. What's happening there? Because we are hearing and we are seeing great abominations, not only in Atlanta, but elsewhere. But specifically now, since we're going to Atlanta, what are we hearing and seeing, Hillary? Well, yesterday we shared with you all that the pastor of an Atlanta church, which is called Vision Church, actually hired a psychic medium to minister to the congregation. Uh, we were floored. We were shocked when we, we found that out. And friends, we did some more investigation on this church that is called Vision Church of Atlanta. And what did we discover about the pastor of Vision Church of Atlanta that actually hired a psychic to be a minister on the staff there, Hillary. Yes, we discovered that he was actually a homosexual. He's open, he's proud, he's out, and he actually has a first husband. So you have a so-called uh, gay couple, married couple that is leading the church. So when you think about them hiring an openly, or hiring a psychic, it's not surprising. So here we have the sin. Hillary, do you want to read this for us? This is actually from the website of Vision Church of Atlanta. This is on the About Us uh, uh, link. And friends, here we are seeing that uh, the witchcraft, right. psychic, sorcery is connected with homosexuality. Listen to what this says, friends. Okay, his name is Bishop O.C. Allen III. It says, Bishop Allen was born on January 24th, 1973 in Los Angeles, California. It goes on to say that he is married to his life partner, Mr. Rashad Burgess of Chicago, Illinois. Rashad Burgess is currently the community liaison for Gilead Sciences Incorporated. They are the proud fathers of two beautiful children, Joshua and Kaylee. 
In 2013, Bishop Allen and his family made history by being the first same gender loving couple to be selected as one of Ebony Magazine's top 10 coolest black families in America. And friends, this is not limited just to this church and this city. It's all over. And what we're seeing here again, this is the sin of homosexuality as well as sorcery combined in one church. And that's why it's time for aggressive evangelism. And remember, God has given to us a message, the everlasting gospel. And the second angel's message says what, Hillary? It says to come out of her. It says Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city because she has made all nations etc drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and friends now we're seeing the raindrops but let's move on now understand this that the fall of babylon began in the summer of 1844 but she did not receive a complete fall babylon the apostate churches popery and apostate protestants when will we know that she has a come to the point of her complete fall the bible tells us when her sins have reached unto heaven That's right. her sins have become so obnoxious that probation will close and this is what we're told in chapter 18 of the revelation and verse number two that babylon is fallen it's fallen and is become the habitation of devils the hold of every foul spirit the cage of every unclean and hateful bird oh my friends and verse four says come out of her my people and what is a psychic medium is that not witchcraft Absolutely. is that not wizardry yes it is, is that not sorcery uh necromancy right communicating with Familiar the dead spirits all of the above and an, an, another interesting uh discovery that we made which may not surprise you all i've seen a couple of comments saying that nothing surprises you anymore i i agree with those sentiments but atlanta the metro area of atlanta actually has one of the largest mm. gay populations in the whole world not just in the united states but in the whole world and notice now friends when we when we consider the fact that these things are happening what are we to do it's interesting what is the name of this church hillary it's called vision church and what does the bible say in proverbs regarding vision where there is no vision the people perish and the leadership of this church is they're blind so what hap what is happening to the people they're being led into sin led into perdition and if the blind leads the blind if the blind follows the blind what happens they both fall and babylon falls they both fall into a ditch no friends hear us carefully listen attentively this prophetic insight is not just to show you what's happening the abominations but what can we do to rescue some who are sincere right because i believe it's a possibility that probation has not yet closed on these people individually so what are we to do what can we do safe to serve what can we do safe to serve international what can we do as seventh day adventists what can we do as bible believing christians what can we do as god's people so we are so, to okay. minister by pen by voice using every means at our disposal that god has given us and so what we have put together again is another a pamphlet another book that can be shared electronically of course it can it's in pdf form on the website it's in ebook form on the website you can print it out and hand it out to friends and family and guess what it is a fill in the blank bible study mm -hmm. with all the scriptures uh pointing out what god has to say about the LGBT, the, hom the sin of homosexuality, as well as the sin of witchcraft, which interestingly in scripture, both of these sins, homosexuality and uh, witchcraft and sorcery, they were punishable by death in the Old Testament, friends. So that shows you just how God regards these sins, but he loves the people and he wants to bring them into a relationship with him so that they can lovingly obey his commandments. So let's take a look of, of what's in this again. This is on the website, prophesyagain.org, also on our Facebook page. If you notice, you have the current event on the inside page. The pastors, as well as the psychic medium coming in. Below, you have a Bible study on homosexuality. It is very concise, and then there's a reference for them to receive the whole complete Bible study on what the Bible say about homosexuality. As a matter of fact, hold this, Hillary. Well, you have yours. Do you remember a few days ago we covered Arthur? 
Remember this one, friends? Love is love. As many say, all the character comes out as gay. No, God is love. Rainbow covenant hijacked. In this study, we go into the principles of what the Bible teaches about homosexuality. A more complete study. So both ebooks, both PDFs, both leaflets go hand in hand. Let's get back here. Then now, since the church hired this psychic medium to be a minister in their churches, then we have to address the sins of sorcery, witchcraft, familiar spirits, the dead, angels, and what the Bible say about death. And this is actually a Bible study, friends. A thorough Bible study, thorough. I might add. Here yes. it is, my friends. People need the light. Share it, my friends. And as you share it, try to establish a contact with whomever you're sharing it to. Because it's important that you, yes, we can scatter them like the leaves of autumn. But if you, if, if you can use this to lead to further Bible study, all the better. And friends, let's add this. Spiritualism, communication with the dead, sorcery, as we saw in this church. And again, this is not limited to the church in Atlanta. It's our prayer that both pastor and people repent publicly and become converted. Now, secondly... This sin of witchcraft, sorcery, communicating with the dead is not only in the churches, but it's also in the state, among the politicians. And friends, those who are now on the live feed creating uh, a diversion with various, various statements, do not pay them any attention. Let's focus on this mission of saving people from sin because this is the mission of Jesus Christ and we are his uh, missionaries. Back to the point, let's take a look at Nancy Pelosi. Now, this came out just today. It says, and all these links will be placed below. Headline says, Nancy Pelosi says in San Francisco, San Francisco, yeah. that St. Francis song is our anthem. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace. It was the same Nancy Pelosi who made the statement, the same statement a few weeks ago when she said the following. She says, here in the spirit of my mother and father and my brother Tommy, who taught us through their example that public service is a noble calling. Now, these are her dead relatives. And she says they are there. They were there with her in spirit. Hmm. This is communication with the dead. Right. And then she mentions in that spirit, in the spirit of St. Francis, our patron saint who song of St. Francis is our anthem, Lord make me a channel of thy peace. So here is a high official within the U.S. government. She's what now? She is the House Speaker. Speaker the of the House. Speaker. Right, Majority House Speaker. In Congress. And what we see here too, Spiritualism. she wants to channel the spirit of Francis of Assisi. And of course we know what channeling means. That is, that is spiritualism. That is witchcraft, friends. And many times we focus and we should focus on the signs that show a Sunday law is near, which, which marks the close of probation individually and then for the world. And we're told in the book, Great Controversy, don't you evade, don't you omit, don't you sidestep. You must focus also on the rapid work of spiritualism. Great Controversy, page 588 says, through the two great errors, the immortality of the soul and Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the world under his deceptions. While the former lays the foundation of spiritualism, the latter create the bond of sympathy with, with Rome. Rome. That's right. And as we began by sharing uh, Revelation 18, dealing with the habitation of demons and the fallen state that this church is in due to spiritualism, of course, we know she makes, makes void God's law by exalting a spurious Sabbath. Friends, I'm going to post three paragraphs for you below this. I can't read all of it now, but it's great controversy, page 551. As I read this, Again, recall what's happening in the churches and what's happening in Congress. It says this, the doctrine of man's consciousness in death 
especially the belief that spirits of the dead return to minister to the living has prepared the way for modern spiritualism. And then she says, those who believe that the, that the dead are still alive, their soul is floating somewhere, and they, their dead family members can communicate with them, we are told that Satan is going to use and take advantage mm -hmm. of that false doctrine right. and satan's demons are going to personate the so-called dead loved ones and tell the living the sabbath has been changed to sunday honor sunday and and also to persecute those who preach the everlasting gospel and those who stand for god's ten commandments god's true day of worship that's right and the great controversy also speaks combining um this witchcraft with Sunday again about and the politicians how that these um, dead dead so-called individuals will appear to politicians and tell them to keep Sunday to honor Sunday and to persecute in essence the true Sabbath keepers of God and don't forget this point spiritualism when Satan's demons personate so-called dead loved ones those dead loved ones who went to the grave in their sins unrepentant the devils will tell the living we are in heaven we're, we are in heaven and we are told now the living will begin to believe that there is no difference between truth and righteousness no difference between truth and error no difference between living for God and living for self and the devil this is spiritualism That's it right. lays the foundation my friends to Sunday observance and destruction I see Christian over here saying preach on amen my friends so friends again it's time for aggressive evangelism and don't forget this booklet this pamphlet which speaks about pope and evangelicals promote global ecumenical thy kingdom come yet have forgotten thy will be done and this again is also another bible study thorough bible study my friend it's time it's time it's time so again friends remember knoxville this coming sabbath next friday next sabbath june 7th june 8th will be in atlanta georgia and again don't condemn these people woo them to christ why because the majority don't know any better but there are some who have grieved the spirit of god those we can simply brush off our feet as it were and move on but there are a, there is a group who my friends have been deceived those are the ones we want to reach because Jesus says are the sheep I have yes. who are not of this fold them also I must bring right and they will hear his voice oh, how would they hear his voice through the promulgation of the everlasting gospel it's time friends Bible study what more can we say so friends we will we, we'll post these statements and again sheer sheer invite invite let us be found prepared in these last days where are we at the spark friends getting ready for this coming 